Fab Lady Wasps taking on the Grand Ray Lady Red Devils. Here's the starting lineups with Kurt Allred. All right, starting for the uh, Grand Lady Red Devils will be number three, Annabelle Garrett. She's a six foot uh, junior. Uh, Veda Gritz, a five foot 11 center. Um, Josie Camps is a 5'3 guard. Emery Olson, a, just a freshman, a 5'1 guard. And uh, Hannah Owens, a junior, and she's 5'7. Uh, Grand is coached by Randy Martin. And for the Juab Wasps, uh, number three, Willow Kay. Um, number 13, Bailey Heap. Number 14, McKaysley Owens. Number 24 is Hannah Robbins. And I'm missing one, Mike. Can you look down there and see who it is? I will do my best here to see. Uh, you always see the big, tall, yeah, of course. It looks like Tatum Hyatt. You know. Big, tall, uh, of course, uh, Hannah Robbins down there. Yeah. Well, the Grand Red Devils in the black uniforms trimmed in red. The uh, Wasps in the white trimmed in gold. And ready to go, Hannah Robbins for the tip. Wasps going from left to right. This broadcast made possible by Azamite, Nephi Federal Credit Union, Centricom, Garrett Honda, Central Valley Medical Center, Drew Bay Used Cars, Cash Valley Bank, Nephi City, Intermountain Power Service Corporation, Juab County, Jones and DeMille Engineering at Harmon Tire. And there's the tip, a whistle, and we're going to have a basketball for the Grand Red Devils. I'd like to say hello to uh, Ron Dolphin, probably not teaching his class at Grand High School and watching at his desk while the kids probably just read. Hey, Ron, hope you're having a great one. Thanks for joining in on our broadcast here on Local10.tv as well as the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. And Ron, if there's any mispronunciations on the Grand Red Devils roster, please just text me the correct pronunciations. We had no time, these games are going so fast to get any pronunciations on some of the names. There's a jump shot in the lane, good! Right in, Veta Gritz gets the bucket, and it's two nothing Grand. It's a nice shot, not easy. It was a little turnaround, about a seven footer there, just uh, all net. It's not an easy shot, but uh, she made it look easy. Now with the basketball, down low goes the Wasp, shot no good, Hannah Robbins on the rebound, put back is good, we're tied at two. But that's where uh, Boy Grant has their work cut out 6-3, and Hannah Robbins just reached over everybody and made it easy. They're going to have to body up and push her out. Josie Camps dribbles four court, swings it off to the left side to Emery Olsen. Emery out top to Gritz. Back over to Olsen. Olsen dribbles to the free throw line. Back out, three-point ball on the way. Rattles down. Good for Josie Camps. And yeah, nice little start there for, uh, for Grant there to get that three and go up 5-2. 6.50 left in the first quarter of play here on Centricom Channel 10, Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. Now pass down low to Robbins, back outside it goes. Now top of the key, dribbling the basketball is Bailey Heap. Heap swings it to the right wing, gets it back right corner, doesn't take the three, looking for teammates, and passes back out. They swing it through. McKaysley Cowan, now back left corner, three on the way. That is good by Hannah Robbins, showing her range. <laughs> Makes it hard to guard when she's 6'3", and will step out and hit that and, and then go inside. She, she's a package for Grand to take care of. 5-5, five, five, our score shoots that ball better than her old man, the UM <laughs> School District Superintendent. He was a football player. That's why I said, shot <laughs> yeah. it better than his. 6.07 left, there's a pass underneath. The Wasp defense tips it around. Grand gets it, jump shot on the lane, bounces off no good for Annabelle Garrett. Rebound put back no good by the Red Devils. And that ball's out of bounds off of Grand. It'll be Juab basketball. You know, that's a, that's a good early start for Grand. You know, they're a little undersized compared to Juab, but they're working hard going in and hitting that board right there. You know, and the last time down, they did push uh, they did push Hannah Robbins, you know, around a little bit and forced her outside. And just like I told you, Ron Dolphin is not teaching his <laughs> class. He just texted me and said, will do. Now pass to the right wing. There's a three ball on the way. Good on the right wing. The Wasps drain it. What a shot that time by McKaysley Cowan. 8-5, Juab with the lead over the Grand Red Devils. 5.28 left in the first period of play. Dribbling the basketball out top with it is Josie Camps. Swings it off left wing. Gives it to her teammate, Olsen. Olsen swings around the horn to the right wing. Grand taking their time, being patient. Now they work it inside right wing. Nice spin move to the rack. Shot blocked out of bounds by Robbins, I believe, and that'll be Grand basketball. Kind of not fair. It was a beautiful move by uh, Grand by uh, number 32, Hannah Owen, and just the size of uh, Hannah Robbins was able to block it. Inbounds in the air, jump shot, no good. Over the basket, caught by the Wasps on the other side. Good effort there by the Red Devils. They trail by three, eight to five. Here comes Juap. Right wing pass goes to Bailey Heap. Heap pass to the right corner, gives it up to Hyatt. 
Tatum swings it around. There's a pass and a miscue by the Wasps off of Robin's hand, out of bounds on the sideline. Yeah, they just pass it in between the girls, and uh, and they both thought they were going to catch it, and neither of them went and got it, so that was just an unforced turnover. 8-5 our score, three-point lead. Red Devils could tie with a tray here. I like the patience of Grand against Juab here. Juab, of course, one of the top seeds out of the region. There's yeah. a pass picked off by Robbins. Yeah, they're doing a great job, you know, controlling the pace. Right wing drive, Bailey Heap off the window, bounces off the iron, no good. Rebound out to the three-point line, picked up by the Grand Red Devils camp. She drives down, loses the ball, taken by Juab. Yeah, she just didn't take care of it there, and Hannon Robbins come up behind and has tapped it out of her hand. Left wing for the Wasps. They work at top to Hyatt. Hyatt pass high right post to Robbins. Goes down to the low block. Back outside right wing. Three ball on the way. Off the iron. No good for McKenzie Cowan. Or McKaysley Cowan, excuse me. And rebound Grand. Loose ball. Heap almost got a chance for a steal. Could not come up with it. Now Annabelle Garrett has the ball. Swings it midcourt right side. Gives it up to Camps. Camps dribbling on the huge W for Wasatch here at Heber City's Wasatch High School. Pass tip by Bailey Heap. Steals it away. Bailey has a lot of steals this season, too. Yeah, and she's just real quick, real active, gets into passing lanes and tips, and she's got a couple here early. Now passes to the high right post, back outside, baseline right jumper on the way, no good by the Wasps, and that one was missed by Tatum Hyatt, taken by Grant. Great basketball playing inside out right there. They're just not hitting some of those shots yet, but that's exactly what you, if you're a Juab fan, Wasp, or a Wasp fan, how you want to see them do it. Eight to five. Juab with the lead over Grand, 3.20 left in the first period. Pass angle left with it there is Olsen. Olsen passes to the free throw line, dribbling there. Now Garrett goes down low to the block, and that's a blocking call on Bailey Heap. Wearing the wrap on her right elbow, the arm wrap. Didn't Allen Iverson start that years ago? <laughs> he had to hide his, hide hide his uh, R-rated tattoos is what happened, and then it become a trend. That's right. I, I hope Bailey doesn't have any R-rated yeah, tattoos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to talk to her dad about that. There's the free throw, and that is good by Annabelle Garrett. A little bank shot right there. Annabelle did a great job to get herself to the line. You know, she made a good spin move and made sure she drew some contact and then put the ball up, and it's a real nice move by uh, Garrett right there. Garrett at the line for another. It's up. It is no good. Rebound taken by Robbins of the Wasps. 3-10 left in the first. 8-6 our score. Juab with a two-point lead. Hyatt on the right wing with the basketball for the Wasps. Bounce pass to the corner to Heap. Heap baseline right drive. Comes in. Shoots one up. Over the basket. No good. Caught by Robbins on the other side. Robbins back outside to Hyatt. Hyatt dribbling top of the key. Right wing pass. Gives it up to her teammate. Drives in. Jump shot on the way. No good on the right side. And taken by the Grand Red Devils. I like what Grand's doing. You know, they're forcing them outside, uh, not giving them a chance there to go inside yet, and Juab just not hitting the chance. And there's another steal by uh, Bailey Heap for Juab. Here comes Bailey the other way, goes up with the shot, scores, and she's fouled. Bailey Heap with the bucket and the harm, and she'll be in the charity stripe. Yeah, I'm assuming Megan Robbins is number 30 out there. Is that correct? Megan Robbins. I'm guessing on that. Or do we have a number? No, Megan yeah, Robbins number Megan 30. 30. It listed on the roster, they had new jerseys, I, I know, so she may have changed numbers, but the free throw by Heap is no good. I've got her listed on my roster here is 21. So she is on the court now for the Juab Wasps. Oh, barely so. Not saved, according to the official, over and back, as Veta Gritz could not bring it back for Grand. They turned it over 10 6 they trail with 226 left in the first period. Yeah, Veta got all the way over, and then the ball just barely touched the line coming off her foot for the turnover. Heap right corner on the perimeter, pass to Hyatt right wing, swing it out top. Megan Robbins back out top of the key, right wing pass to Heap. Bailey swings it to the corner, still working the perimeter, now pass inside, bounce pass to Hannah Robbins, high post back outside, and the Wasp free set with 2.07 left in the first period of play. Driving in, travel called on the dribble drive by Hyatt, turnover to the Grand Red Devils. You know, I just really like what Grand's doing. I talked about a little. They're just pushing them out. You know, they're saying right now beat us from the outside because we're going to pack this middle. And, you know, Juab's up 10-6, but they're not getting beat by the outside right now. It's just a couple shots that didn't go for Grand. So a great game plan that they've come in with uh, going against a taller, longer team. Fantastic observation there. Kurt Allred, he's a Hall of Fame color man and not for nothing. There's a pass down low, driving in the lane, dish off to Gritz. Gritz shot, rims off, no good. Rebound Bailey Heap. Gets it back to her teammate, and Hyatt brings it up. Back to Heap, left wing. 
top of the key, right wing pass goes to Megan Robbins. Robbins fumbled the ball, now passes down low on the block, spinning in the lane, jump shot on the way, rims off, no good for Kaylee Love and rebounded by the Grand Red Devils. Yeah, Juab just needs to get some better shots. You know, they're passing it around and until they square up and hit a couple. Uh, they're not. They're never going to get this defense loosened up. Pass down low, jump shot off the glass for two on the drive by Annabelle Garrett. Garrett with three, it's 10-8. Two-point lead for the Wasps, a minute eight left in the first quarter. Right wing Hyatt, pass to the right corner, Megan Robbins for three. Off the iron high, rebound, good box out by Gritz. Gritz lead pass to her teammate on the far side, waiting at the center court line for her team to get in the forecourt. Now passes in the forecourt to Hannah Owen. Now down low, pass tipped, picked off by the Juab defense. Now with the basketball, the Lady Wasps, Bailey Heap, rifles it inside to Hannah Robbins, spins in the lane, shot no good. Rebound loose and picked up by no one as it's tipped out of bounds on the near side by Robbins. It'll be grand. Red Devils ball. That pass into the post went to Hannah Robbins, but what a great defensive play by Veda Gritz. Veda yeah. with a great defensive play. Yeah, she's just bodying up on her. You know, like I said, uh, Veda Gritz is a strong girl, and she's just pushing Hannah Robbins around and getting her frustrated a little bit. The best thing you can do right now. Back the other way will come. The Grand Red Devils right wing drive, shot off the glass, bounces off, no good, tough break there in the lane with a rebound, but falling down, trying to get the shot off, cannot get it to go, is going to be Annabelle Guerrero. Back the other way comes Juab, they lose the ball out of bounds, so 10-8 remains our score with 10.6 seconds left in the first quarter, and Grand could tie or take the lead at the end of the first period. Yeah, they make a shot, they're right here, they, they've played a great quarter, you know, the only thing that's gone wrong for them is a few turnovers, and they'd have a lead here. Veda Gritz for three, off the iron, no good. Rebound underneath, tipped out of bounds of the buzzer. And we'll end the first quarter with Juab leading Grand 10 to eight here on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. Our live coverage here from Wasatch High School in Heber City. We'll be back right after this. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, Manti, Utah Valley, St. George, and Monticello, they're committed to providing their clients with civil and structural engineering, construction management, funding procurement, surveying, GIS mapping, and material testing. They use state-of-the-art equipment to help you meet your budgets, deadlines, and schedules. Visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professional shaping the quality of life. I'm Dr. Igor. Gordon Duvall, pediatrician at Central Valley Medical Center. I have always enjoyed working with children. Sometimes things can be scary, like if they're in an ambulance. So if I can help the child and talk to them in a way that helps them understand what's going on and why, that's a success right there. I feel like the best thing I can do is to give parents the education and resources that they need to give their child the best care. We're accepting new patients at Central Valley Medical Center, and we'll be excited to take care of your child. Back once again here on Centricom Channel 10, the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network as the Juab Wasp lead 10-8. to What did you see in that first quarter, Kurt? I just think Grand played a great game, a great first quarter there. You know, they controlled the tempo, they bodied up, they played physical. That's what they have to do to have them the chance to win. It's only down two because of it. Bailey Eaps, left wing drive as she gets the ball, and she is tied up nicely by Hannah Owen on the jump ball call. Got her hand on top of the ball. Jump ball called, alternate possession goes to Grand. Yeah, and, and I want to mention Annabelle Garrett in that first quarter for uh, Grand right there. You know, she had three points, but I thought defensively and actively underneath, she did a, a really, really great job. Red Devils down by two. They work at four court. Camps passes to the right wing in front of the Juap bench. Out of bounds, tipped by Bailey Heaps. It'll be Red Devils basketball. Red Devils in the black, trimmed in red, going from right to left on your TV screen and your radio dial. Wasps in the white and gold. Now into Veda Gritz. Gritz drives in, lost the ball. Steal. Here's a three on one break. Make a three on two as Bailey Heap comes down. She'll take it herself and scores it. Bailey Heap's fast. She gets a lot of loose balls. And she's a very quick player. There's just some great dribbling right there to get down and get an easy layup. Now Emery Olsen passes to Veda Gritz. Gritz back out to Olsen. Dribbles left side, lost the handle on the ball, picks it back up on the dribble, and back outside the arc it goes to Gritz. 
Ritz to the high right post. Now pass to the right corner. Driving down, cross post pass, beautiful shot on the way, a beautiful pass, and then the shot missed. Veda Gritz on the rebound, put back, that's no good. Brand is missing some easy shots. Yeah, they're the shots they want, and they will go, but, you know, they've, they've lost a few points off easy misses that you thought were actually going down and just come out. 6.50 left in the second, 12 to 8 our score, Juab with the lead. They work into the high right post. Jump shot on the way, bounces off, no good for the Wasps. Willow K, rebound Gritz, and a foul called on Juab. And I believe she hurt her arm or shoulder in the process. Did the Juab Lady Wasp? Well, she just saw the strength of, uh, of uh, Grits right there. She ran into Grits, and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, Beta Grits isn't going to move and picked up the foul and the hurt shoulder all in one play. Grits, a very strong player. She, uh, the only thing I, you know, she needs to go down, you know, and get some position and on the block, I think maybe that's not how she plays, where I haven't been able to watch Graham play, but man, you'd sure think she could back down and uh, get some buckets off of that. Now a turnover as a foul call, an offensive foul on Josie Camps at midcourt. And that's gonna be a turnover to Juab, 631 left here in the second quarter. Juab 12, Grand eight. Inbounds play for the Wasps, bringing it up on the dribble, top of the key is Megan Robin, swings it off left side, gets the pass back on the left wing just inside the arc, passes to the high right post, 15 foot jumper, yes! Goes down good for Bailey Heap. And Bailey's starting to heat up. Yeah, Bailey's having a good game, that's six points, four and three or four steals. And just Bailey's just really active. Now 14-8 for Jew, have a six point advantage, Gritz with the ball on the perimeter, pass to the right wing, and Bailey Heap tips it out of bounds right into her bench. It'll be grand Red Devil basketball on the far side. She anticipates that pass very well, you know, and really breaks to the ball well. Ball inbounds by Hannah Owen to Gritz. Gritz right wing, pass right corner. Oh, her teammate gets a Juab player on the ground, takes a jump shot. Camps can't get it to go, but what a move to get past Hyatt on that right wing. Now back comes Juab after the rebound. Megan Robbins down to Hannah, her sister. Back outside, left wing pass. Hyatt with it. Hyatt, top of the key to Megan Robbins, pass to the high post, now dribbling down to the low block, shot up by Robbins, bounces four times on the rim, does not go, and comes off and camps on the rebound. Camps for the Red Devil. This broadcast made possible here on Cedric on Channel 10 and Local10.tv by Harmon Tire, Jones and DeMille Engineering, Juab County and Intermountain Power Service Corporation as well as Nephi City, Cache Valley Bank, and Drew Bay Used Cars. There's a pass down low for the Red Devils. That one's tipped out of bounds by Juab. Brand will maintain possession with 5.16 left here in the second period and checking into the game a couple of new players for each team. Two for the Wasps, one for the Red Devils. And coming in, I couldn't catch all the numbers on that. Go ahead, Kurt. It's Jessica Larson for uh, Grand. And I actually didn't catch who was coming in for Juab 25, Amelia Anderson. And McKaysley Cowan. Between the two of us, we'll get him. <laughs> Inbounds play, Grand into the lane, pass goes through the lane and out of bounds on the far side. No one touched it. Oh, they're going to say it was tipped. It, it looked like it glanced off a Juab wasp leg just a little bit. And that was a, no, they give it to Juab. I really thought it did. And I thought that the official under the basket called that, but she was just calling for the ball. So Juab got her. Five minutes, 15 seconds remain in the first half. Juab with a 14-8 lead. Not a lot of prolific scoring in this game. Some good defense in this game by both clubs. Now pass to the left side, Megan Robbins, jump shot, good! A long jumper by Megan Robbins. Yeah, Juab starting to hit those outside shots a little more now, which might uh, loosen things up for uh, Hannah Robbins. 16-8, Juab by eight. Now there's a pass tip by Hannah Robbins, taken away on the defense, another steal. Now back the other way come the Juab Wasps across the huge Wasp painted on the floor. Comes Hyatt, pass to the right wing to Robbins, back to Hyatt right corner. Just outside the arc, dribbles to the right wing, back on top of the key, three ball on the way. In and out, no good on the shot try straight away. Good try that time by the Wasps, McKaysley Cowan, rebound Grand. And McKaysley can hit him, you know, she's hit uh, 21 so far this year. That one just didn't go. Red Devils timeout, a full timeout here as they're down 16 to eight with 4.23 left in the second. You're watching and listening to coverage of the 3A State Basketball Tournament from Wasatch High School in Heber City on Centricom Channel 10 and the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. The Juab County Commission employees and staff are pleased to support the youth of the area in academics and athletics at Juab High School this sports season. And remember Juab County for fantastic 
recreational opportunities such as the sand dunes, Yuba Reservoir and Zipline, Extreme Racing, Demolition Derby, and the Ute Stampede Rodeo. The county government fully supports education and athletics in molding the future leaders of our area. Juab County, happy to be a Juab Wasps Sports Booster. Dale Whitlock of Security Insurance is the type of agent that makes a difference by offering United Insurance. Based in Utah, United Underwriters Insurance understands the risks, weather, and conditions that you experience. Call Security Insurance, 435-623-2590. The living room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or while on the go. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Call or visit Centricom.com to learn more. Welcome back once again on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Centricom Channel 10. Mike Trana, Kurt Allred, and Nate Palmer with us here. And, of course, our cameraman, Micah Iverson. Kind of switching positions all over the place. Micah was the producer last game, and Nate was the cameraman. Now Nate's the producer, and Micah is the cameraman. That's why they're so valuable. They can do anything. Yeah, and they're kind of humble, too. Neither one of them's uh, worried about that, you know. Yeah, they don't talk as much as you. No, they don't. They don't. They're probably glad which is refreshing <laughs> yes, sometimes it is. <laughs> yes it is all right inbounds play i don't know if that's a compliment or an <laughs> insult to them i better shut my mouth here i might get fired now inbounds to grits for the grand red devils veda back outside gives it to camps camps picks up the left-handed dribble going left hands it off to her teammate hannah owen owen holding the ball on the left wing grand down 16 8 pass into grits to the free throw line Veda dribbling the ball, swings it out right wing, open for three. The lefty three on the way, off the iron, no good for Camps. Rebound loose, picked up by the Wasps, Hyatt. Boy, Grand just can't get a shot to fall. You know, we're halfway through the uh, second quarter here, and they haven't been able to get one down after the first quarter that they were right in this thing. I mean, they're still in it. They just got to get a bucket. They got to get that thing opened up. And Juab's only scored six points, so it hasn't been a big quarter for them either. Now pass into Robbins, cross post pass through the hands of her teammate. Out of bounds, Amelia Anderson couldn't handle that rifle of a pass by Hannah Robbins. I don't think she was quite ready for it, and it uh, come across and through her hands. She was throwing it like her brother Nick, who plays quarterback at Snow College. Yeah, that's a, a family full of athletes. That it is. Now pass to the right wing. Hannah Owen with it. Owen for the Grand Red Devils. 3.23 left in the second. 16-8 our score. Now Gritz drives in, lost the ball, gets it back. Top, top of the key, left wing camps. Camps on the perimeter. Top of the key pass to Gritz. Gritz fires it into the lane. Nice pass. Shot up and good. Do they count the bucket? No, they're going to wipe the bucket off the board. Hannah Owen will be out of bounds with the ball. I'll tell you what. It was a great place uh, played by Hyatt because she knew that she got beat and she just went out and made sure she got a good shove the official could see before she could shoot the ball or uh, it would have been an easy two for a uh, grand. Annabelle Garrett fires it into the lane, goes through the lane, loose ball. Now taken away, driving down, shot up by the Wasps. Oh, that one was missed by Megan Robbins. Taken by the Red Devils in the corner and then knocked out of bounds by Juab. No, by Grant. Megan was just tentative. She was all alone coming down the left side, and she's right-handed, and uh, well, she just went up too soft because she wasn't quite comfortable with that left hand right there is what it come down to. 3-0-1 left in the first half. It's Juab 16, Grand 8. Low-scoring game here, too. Well, it's just the big thing's Grand's defense. They can't get it going offensively. They're struggling, but they're playing hard, and they're playing real hard on the defensive end right there, and... You know, giving you have a little bit of some fits there, um, getting some easy shots. Well, this game hasn't been a poorly played game by either team. It's just some good defense here. Right wing for the Wasps. They lob it down. Picked off nicely in the lane. Coming up with a steal is Hannah Owen, and then a foul called on Juab. They were trying to go to the low block to Robbins, and they collapsed on her. They triple teamed her. Well, you look at that. There was five grand girls in the paint right there, in the black, you know, around Robbins. And, you know, you better pass that around and get an open shot on the outside instead of trying to force it against a one on five. Annabelle Garrett, right wing, pass out, driving into the lane again is Owen, and Owen's shot's no good, but she is fouled on the drive. Will they give her free throws is the question. I believe so. Yeah, Grant's doing a good job of uh, taking it to the basket. You said they're having a hard time getting it in, but they are taking it at the Juab players, and, you know, that's a fifth team foul against Juab. Still 16 8 our score. Juab with an eight-point lead. That could change at the free throw line with Hannah Owen, and she changes it with a free throw. 
sometimes that free throws what they need to get the lid off the basket so you know hopefully for the grand lady red devils that'll get them going on the scoring a little bit more now free throw number two on the way that is good so two for two of the line for owen and it's a six point lead for Juab. owen's first two of the game wasps with it bailey heap left corner pass to robbins megan swings it back out to heap now out top it goes to cowan cowan swings an angle right pass down low wasp still trying to go down they can't get that one. Robbins goes in for the shot. She is fouled. She'll have two shots of the charity strike. And boy, the Grand defense on the interior is just smothering. Yeah, that was just a bad break for Grand because they made a great block and a great play, and then it just kind of went off their fingertips, and Hannah Robbins is able to corral it in. Robbins at the free throw line. First charity stripe shot. Rattles down good for Hannah Robbins. Robbins with six in the game. Six of the Wasp, 17 points. Second one up, that one's good. Hanna now with seven, and the Juab Wasp's lead is 18 to 10. Tell you what, it's been a hard earned seven for her. She's been pushed around and bullied a little bit. She's earning her points today. Josie Camps for the Red Devils, pass out top to her teammate, dribbles to the high post. Then Garrett passes it off to Gritz. Gritz pass picked off by Robbins. Megan Robbins the other way, a burst of speed. Left hand layup is good. Kind of funny, Megan did it with her left hand that time. She couldn't think about it. You know, she just had to go and left handed to look beautiful that time. She have 20 grand, 10, a minute 48 left in the first half. Red Devils, Hannah Owen with it. Owen passes right wing into Gritz. Gritz in the lane, shoots, she's fouled. Shot doesn't go, but she'll be at the free throw line. Gritz seems a bit frustrated. Yeah, well, that's the first time she's really gone strong underneath right there, and she bodied up and pushed Hannah Robbins down inside. I actually thought it looked like a really good block by Robbins, but you know what? When you force an issue like that, you start to get calls. Free throw rims off for Gritz. She rifles the ball back to the official and not very happy about that. Checking into the game for the Juab Wasps on that far side is going to be Kaylee Love. Love in there with Robbins as well as McKaysley Cowan and Megan Robbins. Free throw rims off. Two for two missed at the line for Gritz. And she shakes her head as she runs back on defense. Bailey, Heap, dribbles for court. Left wing pass. Now gets it back. Bailey lobs it down. Tipped and picked off. Beautiful defensive play by Annabelle Garrett of the Red Devils. Gets it to Gritz. Back to Annabelle. Annabelle dribbles for court. Garrett swings it back to Camps. Camps lobs it down low. Tipped from behind by Hannah Robbins. Back out to the Red Devils. There's a throw down low and on the low block. Had a player open did Annabelle Garrett, but thrown just a bit too high out of bounds. Yeah, just uh, yeah, she couldn't quite corral it. Went off her fingertips, but you know, not too much uh, bad that Annabelle's having. You know, she came up with a steal down on the other end, and I really like the game she's having. Kaisley Cowan brings it up for Juab to Bailey Heap. Left wing dribbles to the free throw line, then gets tied up by the Grand Red Devils in the lane. She falls down, gets the ball out. Robbins for three right wing, off the iron, no good. Gritz on the rebound for the Grand Red Devils. She'll take off with the dribble. Makes a move past Bailey Heap behind the back dribble. Oh, lost the ball in the lane. That was the makings of a fantastic drive, and she just lost. That is too bad she didn't come up with that because that was some nice ball handling. Now midcourt left side, Robbins passes to Heap, left corner. Bounce pass out top, goes to Cowan. Right wing, Robbins. Megan this time. Megan fires it to Heap, left wing. Lobs it down for Hannah Robbins. She couldn't handle the high pass. Tipped out of bounds in the corner. Red Devils basketball with 27.9 seconds left. Juab 20, Grand 10. This one started off slow. It wasn't a, a big lead for Juab. It was back and forth. Some good defense by Grand. Great defense by Juab. It was 10-8 after one quarter. It's only in this second quarter that the Juab Wasps have been able to pull away, but it's been a slow pull away. They only lead by 10. Yeah, you wouldn't even think they are leading by 10, but they are slowly uh, slowly pulling away. Gritz with the basketball. Pass out top. Goes to her teammate, dribbling the basketball. Olsen, Emily gets the ball taken away by two Wasps. The Robin sisters were there to tie her up. Yeah, they bullied up on her there. That was Hannah Robbins pulled it away, pass out top, Robbins right wing, Hannah shoots the three, bullseye! Hannah Robbins with a tray! And that's the end of the first half of play as she ends it with that three, and Juab goes up by 13 at halftime, 23-10 over the Grand Red Devils as the Juab Wasps have a 13-2 run 
in that second quarter, and that gives them a huge lead going into the halftime break. Well, it's time now for our Jones and DeMille Engineering halftime show. From slam dunks to buzzer beaters, the Jones and DeMille Engineering team is here to help you tackle the toughest infrastructure issues. We'll be back right after this on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. The Nephi City Mayor, City Council, and employees are excited about the Juab Wasps this sports season. They would like to wish the Juab High School team, coaches, faculty, staff, and student body success during the sports season. The entire city fully supports educational opportunities and athletic competition in molding the future leaders of Juab County. Nephi City wants all involved to know that they're behind the school 100%. Happy to be a Juab sports booster, Nephi City. Nephi Federal Credit Union in Nephi offers convenient service and a variety of financial services. They're your hometown credit union that's been serving local residents for over 63 years, longer than any other financial institution in Nephi. The staff invites you to check out their incredible rates on a variety of loans and savings accounts. Nephi Federal Credit Union, 155 North Main in Nephi. Call 623-1895. That's 623-1895. Nephi Federal Credit Union, proud supporter of the Wasps this season. National Vinyl Products of Nephi has been a part of Juab County since 2004. The management and staff take pride in supporting the students of Juab High School in the game and in the classroom. The company manufactures high-quality vinyl fencing for a host of uses around the state. If you're 18 years of age and would like to join the workforce at National Vinyl Products in Nephi, please send an email to jobs at nvpfence.com. That's jobs at nvpfence.com. The entire staff and crew at National Vinyl Products wish the Wasps the best of luck this season. The Crump Reese family of dealerships in Moab offers both Ford and General Motors vehicles. With two locations on South Main Street in Moab, looking for a new or used Ford or Chevy has never been easier. Whether you're hitting the trails in Moab or just dropping off the kids at school, Crump Reese has the vehicle you need to get you from point A to point B with a little adventure in between. With internet service from Centricom, you get a fast, reliable connection to a world of information and inspiration. Just choose the bandwidth package that fits your needs and your budget. Every package delivers consistent speeds that bring the best of the web into your life. And we offer local, over-the-phone, technical and professional IT support. It's why Centricom is now our area's number one internet provider. Add internet to your bundle and save. Call or visit Centricom.com today. And welcome back to our Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show. Jones and DeMille supports our youth in their efforts to develop new talents and passions, paving the way to success. Best of luck to our rural teams this season. Halftime score, the Juab Lady Wasps lead the Grand Red Devils in the state playoff elimination game in 3A, 23-10. The Wasps outscored the Red Devils 10-8 in the first quarter. It was a very defensive, competitive first quarter. But then the Red Devils only able to get two points in the second quarter. Juhab scores 13, and there's the difference of your game, a 13-point lead for the Wasps. Yeah, that's just, uh, you know, tur turnovers and is one thing, but they missed a lot of easy baskets. They did a good job of working and getting good shots, Grand did, and they just couldn't get it to go. Let's take a look at some of those team stats as you were alluding to there, Kurt. Uh, first shooting for the game, not a very good shooting percentage for the Red Devils. They are 3 of 13 in the first half for 23%. From 3, they're 1 of 3 for 33%. And for the game at the free throw line, 3 of 6 for 50%. The Juab Wasps, not much better, at least for the field. They're 9 of 23 for 39%. But they're 3 of 7 from behind the arc for 43%. And they're 2 of 3 from the free throw line for 67%. Now, here's one of the reasons the Red Devils are not out of this game yet. They're down by 13. They out-rebounded the Juab Wasps 14-9 in that first half. 12 of those were defensive rebounds. But they had 17 turnovers compared to Juab's 8. That's the reason, one of the reasons why they're down by 13 too. Yeah, that's you know kind of something that I've been alluding to uh, during this game was the toughness of how defensively tough uh, Grand was playing Juab. You know, and that shows it right there where they're out-rebounding Juab because Juab's a taller team. You know, that's just showing defensively they're hustling, uh, working hard. They just got to right the ship a little bit on the, uh, you know, on the offensive side of the ball. They've got to take care of it's the biggest thing. You know, Juab's very active, you know, and they, they've got to take care of the ball and get more shots. And 
12 of those turnovers for Grand of those 17 are 12 steals for Juap. They have 12 steals in this game. So it really hasn't been Grand losing the ball out of bounds or making dumb plays. It's been Juab's defense. Two steals on the night for the Grand Red Devils. Coming up next on our Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show, Kurt Allred will have the individual stats from the first half. A special thanks to our sponsors, Azamite, Nephi Federal Credit Union, Centragon Channel 10, Garrett Honda, Central Valley Medical Center, Drew Bay Used Cars, Cash Valley Bank, Nephi City, Intermountain Power Service Corporation, Juab County, Jones and DeMille Engineering, and Harmon Tire. We'll be back on Centragon Channel 10 and the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network right after this. Azamite Mineral Products in Nephi is using a unique deposit to create fertilizers and as a feed ingredient for customers all over the world. Their feed grit product used as a feed ingredient for livestock is gaining popularity because research has indicated its potential to improve overall animal health. Azamite can be found at your IFA country store, Steve Regan stores, or on their website at azamite.com. For more information, visit them on Facebook, Twitter, or the web. Azamite is excited to be part of the Nephi community and supports Juab High School Athletics. I'm John Sorensen. I'm a general surgeon here at Central Valley Medical Center in Nephi. For the last 29 years, I've been involved in the U.S. Army Medical Corps and deployed four times in the last 15 years. When I got back, I decided I wanted to work in a smaller community and take care of patients. Nephi fits that bill very nicely. The people are, are wonderful. I think all of my experiences have contributed to making me a better physician. I'm interested in continuing to improve myself and my skills here in Nephi. Hi, this is Kevin Madsen with Cash Valley Bank. Is your good old truck not as good as it used to be? Do you need a more dependable set of wheels? Then cruise on over to Cash Valley Bank. We offer great rates, low fees, and quick service on our auto loans. Come and apply today in Ephraim, Mount Pleasant, or Fairview. You'll be glad you did. Cash Valley Bank, a tradition of helping. Member FDIC. The Intermountain Power Service Corporation is proud to bring you this presentation. IPSC is a community-minded company that contributes to our local schools, community organizations, and economy. The Intermountain Power Project consistently ranks among the best of America's coal-based power plants in reliability, cost-effectiveness, and environmental responsibility. Intermountain Power Service Corporation strives for perfection and is honored to be actively involved with Delta Millard and Juab High Schools. Thanks for joining us again on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, Central Gum Channel 10 for our Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show. Jones and DeMille, of course, has dedication, teamwork, commitment, vision, and desire that's propelling kids to be champions. Jones and DeMille Engineering, your local award-winning engineering firm. Let's check out our halftime stats individually with Kurt Allred. All right, we'll start with the Lady Red Devils. Uh, Scoring-wise, uh, Annabelle Garrett had three, Vita Gritz had two, uh, Josie Camps three, and... Hannah Owen too, so not unfortunately for Grand, not a lot to talk about scoring in the first half. Vita Gritz leads the rebounding with five. That leads for both teams right there. No foul trouble uh, going on really. Josie Camp's the only player that has two. And uh, for the Juab Wasps, uh, um, we have uh, Bailey Heat with six points. Um, Kenzie Cowan has three, uh, Hannon Roberts led it with 10, and Megan Robbins had four. And uh, the big thing there right there, we talked about Bailey Heap has uh, five steals. Uh, that's a pretty good half of steals right there. So that'll about sum up the uh, individual scoring, the individual stats are just really not a lot to talk about. Uh, you know, kind of a slow scoring first half. That it is, uh, 23 to 10, our score. The Juab Wasp leading by 13. We'll take a break for about another minute and come back with the start of the second half here on Centricom Channel 10, ETV 10, as well as the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with more of our basketball game and wrapping up our Jones and DeMille Engineering Halftime Show. New car, used car, Delta, Nephi. There's just one name you need to remember, Drew Bay. That's Drew Bay Chevrolet in Delta and Drew Bay used cars in Nephi. You'll feel good at the end of the day when you do business with Drew Bay. 
Drew Bay stands for world-class service with a hometown feeling. That's Drew Bay Chevrolet in Delta and Drew Bay used cars in Nephi. Make it a day to remember. Start your day at DrewBayChevrolet.com. The trail is calling. Every turn, hill and fallen log is screaming your name. And you're ready because you have the right type of power and agility to answer the call. Introducing the 2016 Honda Pioneer 1000 with best in class 999cc engine and the industry's only six speed fully automatic dual clutch transmission. Check out the Honda Pioneer 1000 at Garrett Honda, 563 North Main in Nephi. Garrett Honda, our family is serving your family for over 50 years. All Around Dental Care next to Mount Nebo Market in Nephi can help perfect your smile by keeping it healthy. All Around Dental Care offers free preventative care for the entire family, free ortho consultations with braces as low as $98 a month, and convenient appointment times. All Around Dental Care accepts all insurances and even offers an in-house discount plan. And right now they're offering free whitening trays with every healthy smile. Just mention the Wasp Sport Special when you stop in to All Around Dental Care. Everything to do with smiles. Call 623-0866. Start of the third quarter of play, inbounds for the Red Devils. They start off with the basketball, work it to the right side. Bailey Heap tips it out of bounds on the near sideline. 23 to 10, Jew have with the lead, 747 left in the third. Inbounds, Veda Gritz. Veda swings it in, not top of the key to her teammate, Emery Olsen. Olsen gives it off to Camps. Camps dribbles to the right side, hands it off there. Picked off by Bailey Heap. A steal by Bailey. The 13th of the game for Jew have, and driving in and laying it in is Bailey Heap. Bailey Heap has eight, 25 to 10. Juab now by 15. Camps for the Red Devils with a left-handed dribble. Holding up some fingers, now dribbles to the left side. Hyatt's going to stay with her. Swings it off to Olsen. Now over to the left wing to Gritz. Veda guarded by Robin. Swings it out top. Driving his own, bounce pass to the right side. Gives it up again to Olsen. And Grand puts it back on top. Lobs it all the way down low, and the pass goes through the hands, tipped out of bounds by Juab's Heap. That pass was intended for Annabelle Garrett, but she was sort of double teamed there. Yeah, you know, one of the reasons Grant's having a hard time and, and uh, Juab's getting so many steals is if you'll notice, they don't move to the ball much. You know, they make that pass, and instead of taking that step and coming to the ball, it gives uh, Juab time to make that steal. If they'd come to it, it'd cut it way down. Veda Gritz, nice lob pass down low, and a foul on Juab as that went into Annabelle Garrett. Yeah, Bailey Heap just come over the top of her trying to knock it away and got caught. First personal foul. I'll make that second on Bailey. 6.56 left in the third, 25 to 10. Juab extending that lead. Red Devils really need to make a run here early in the third to stay in this game. They need some buckets. They only got two in that second quarter. Inbounds play and kicked out of bounds. Oh, a five second call before the pass in. And the problem is, is, you know, we're admitted into it and they haven't even got a shot off. You know, they've had a couple turnovers, haven't got a shot off. So they've got to take care of the ball and get themselves a chance to score. Bailey Heap works at front court, pass down to Hannah Robbins. Robbins goes into grits, jumps and scores off the window. So Hannah Robbins with a bucket there. Hannah with nine, it's 27 to 10. Jew have by 17. Red Devils out top. Midcourt straight away, actually, at the center court circle. Camps, left wing pass. Losing her dribble on the drive, Emery Olsen. Emery dribbles to the left side. Olsen spins, keeps the dribble alive. Pass inside, tipped away by Juve. Another steal. Hyatt leads the rush. Going to take it all the way down the lane. Jump stop and shoots it up and scores it. Yeah, she saw Gritz coming, and Gritz intimidated, but she did a good job of stopping and letting Gritz get a little bit past her before she uh, put it in. Tatum Hyatt with the bucket. And Juab's up by 19 now, 29 to 10. There's a pass left wing. Nice pass from Vady Gritz. Oh, cross post. Shot up no good, though, by Annabelle Garrett. God, it was a beautiful play. It was a great basketball play, and they just couldn't convert. Bailey Heap with the basketball. Heap swings it out, left wing. Holding it there now is McKaysley Cowan. Hands it off to her teammate, Hyatt. Tatum, top of the key to Heap. Right wing. Back at top, working the perimeter on the passing right now with 5.38 left in the third. 29-10, Juab with the lead over Grand. Now we got a three-second call on the Juab Wasps. Yeah, it was, it was called on Hannon Robbins, and she's kind of wondering why, but if, you know, if any part of your foot's in any part of the paint, you know, you're not clearing it, and that's what she did. She just didn't have it all the way out. 
5.29 left in the third. Red Devils bringing up on the dribble with an opportunity to cut into that Juab lead. Beta Gritz dribbles to the high post, bounces off a player, and then dribbles to the right side, and that ball is going to get tipped out of bounds by Bailey Heap. Boy, Bailey has jumped into the passing lane so well in this game. She's created several steals, and she's deflected several balls as well. Well, she just anticipates so well, you know, but then she's quick, you know, so you put those two things together, and it spelled trouble for uh, Grand. Bounce pass inbounds for the Red Devils. Loose ball picked up. Gritz passes out top, and the pass tip taken away by Juab's McKaysley Cowan. Cowan, now a travel call, turns it back over to the Grand Red Devils. Thanks for joining us for our coverage on Centricom Channel 10, ETV 10, and the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network. We have a timeout on the court, a 30 second timeout with 5 11 left to the third. It's Juab 29, Grand 10. We'll be back after this. Harmon Tire and Nephi is proud to sponsor this broadcast of the 3A Wrestling Tournament and wants to wish the Juab Wasps good luck this weekend. Harmon Tire has been a family-owned business since 1973, providing Nephi and the surrounding areas with exceptional service for over 40 years. Harmon Tire specializes in tires, alignments, brakes, steering suspensions, wheels, shocks, struts, and more. Stop by Harmon Tire on Main Street in Nephi or give them a call at 435-623-0720. That's Harmon Tire and Nephi. Go Wasps! We're back once again on Centricom Channel 10, ETV 10, and the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. Mike Trena and Kurt Allred with you, the play-by-play -play announcers. And right now the Grand Red Devils could use a bucket here. They're down by 19. They scored two points, you know, since the uh, first quarter. You know, they're on 19-2 to two run Juabs on against them. So, yeah, they've got to find a way to score. And we're three minutes into the third quarter. There's a pass down low shot. Bounces off the rim. A close shot. Bounces off. No good for Hannah Owen. Far side, Bailey Heap will bring it for court. For Juab drives in, runs into a player. Should be a charge, and it is a charge. Good charge taken that time by Annabelle Garrett. Yeah, she just anticipated, and uh, uh, Bailey Heap made it easy because she <laughs> lowered her shoulder and went into her. So did a good job of converting the basket, but... Uh, did run her over first. 444 left here in the third, 29 to 10. Grand Red Devils work at forecourt. Annabelle Garrett had just took that charge, dribbling on the right wing. Being guarded by Megan Robbins. No, check that. New player in the game, Kaylee Love for Juap. Pass angle left. She, she's a Red Devils. Backing it back out. They work it to the midcourt left side. Now pass to Gritz and free throw line. She dribbles right side, hands it off to Owen. She'll drive in, gets the ball stripped away and stolen away by who else but Bailey Heap. A two-on-one break for Juab. Driving in Heap off the glass, good for two. Boy, Heap's having a good game. I think that's seven steals and uh, ten points she's sitting at right now. Heap with her name and points right now. She has ten with four minutes left in the third quarter. 31-10, Juab by 21 right now. Now into Gritz on the right wing. Gritz, jump shot on the way, blocked by Hannah Robbins, but Robbins picks up the foul. She shrugs her shoulders as she looks to her coach on the bench. Well, she thought she went straight up, but you can see she didn't go straight up. <laughs> I was looking at the replay. I kind of thought she went into her a little, but she went straight up, but it does put Grand to the line. Three personal fouls on Hannah Robbins. Gritz missed two free throws her last trip and shorts that one off the rim, no good. Well, the Red Devils, if they want to try to get back into this game, they're down by a lot to Juab. They have to get Beta Gritz involved in the scoring. Yeah, and I think she's got to go underneath and, uh, you know, make some room there for herself. Gritz free throw is good on the second try. She has three in the game, 31 to 11 is our score. Juab by 23, 49 left in the third. Out top, Megan Robbins. Midcourt right side gets the pass back in the corner. Now down to Hannah Robbins, back out to Megan. Top of the key, left wing pass. Dribbling the basketball is Brindley Bender in the game for Juap. Now left wing, Hyatt. Tatum swings it over to Brindley. Now back to Tatum. Tatum shoots a long jumper, hits the iron, no good. Rebound taken by Veda Gritz. Veda bounce pass in the center court circle. Gives it up to Camps. Camps right wing to Owen. And Owen drives down to the low block and a foul called on the Juab Wasps. That might is be, that going to um, be on Hannah? Might be on Hannah, and that's her fourth. She's kind of frustrated because she's getting some calls that don't look too bad, but that is her fourth. Luckily, they have a 20-point lead, but they will put her out of the game. 3-14 left in the third. 
31 to 11. Hannah Robbins will have to check out. In foul trouble, coming in for her is Jaquel Oliver. Juab takes a timeout. We'll take one as well. 3:14 left in the third on the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network, ETV 10, and Centricom Channel 10. We'll be right back. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, Manti, Utah Valley, St. George, and Monticello, they're committed to providing their clients with civil and structural engineering, construction management, funding procurement, surveying, GIS mapping, and material testing. They use state-of-the-art equipment to help you meet your budgets, deadlines, and schedules. Visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professional shaping the quality of life. And welcome back once again on Central Gum Channel 10, ETV 10, and Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. 3-14 left in the third. Grand down by 20. There's a pass in the lane on the inbounds play. Shot good! And the Red Devils stop the bleeding with a shot by Hannah Owen. It's been a long time coming. They finally got one in. They've had a lot of good chances like that, but the first one that's gone for them since the first quarter. Megan Robbins swings it right wing, gets it back. Fires top of the key. Gives it to Hyatt. Hyatt angle right pass. Now back to Robbins. Robbins left wing dribbles to the high post. Megan back outside. Open for three, but Hyatt would not take it. Tatum drives. Back out top it goes. Robbins left wing. Now dribbling to the Juab Wasp. Being patient. Not forcing anything right now. Robbins dribbles to the high left post. Back out right wing. Three-point country. Hyatt puts it to the high post, dribbling down, going to the rack, shot blocked from behind by Annabelle Garrett, taken away by Gritz. Gritz leads the three on two rush for Grant. Left wing pass, Annabelle drives in, and a charging call on Annabelle Garrett as she rolls right over the top of Tatum Hyatt. Yeah, Tatum Hyatt did a nice job. She saw that uh, Annabelle Garrett was going to go all the way, so she just moved in there and waited for her to run her over. 31-13 our score, 2.18 left in the third. Juab leading the Grand Red Devils in this state playoff elimination game here from Wasatch High School in Heber City, Utah. Loser is done for the season. Winner moves on to play Morgan. There's a jump shot on the way. That is good. Check that, not Morgan, but Judge. That'll be Kaylee Love's first shot. First two points right there. She had come in and kind of play in the middle now for Hannah, Hannah Robbins. 33 to 13, Juab by 20 again, a minute 50 left in the third. There's a pass, skip pass from Garrett all the way over the head of her right wing teammate and out of bounds. They just, uh, Grant kind of looks like they give up a little bit. You know, they're not playing with that intensity they were earlier. They're a little bit frustrated right now. Well, when you score two points in the second period and two points in the third, it's, it's very tough on a team. There's a jump shot baseline right. Megan Robbins drains that one. Megan with nine. 35 13 our score. Red Devils, right wing. Pass down low to Owen. Owen back to Gritz. Gritz shoots and can't get it to go. But she does draw the contact and the foul. And she'll earn a trip to the free throw line with 123 left in the third. You know, they do some good things like that. You know, I've seen several good plays where they move the ball and get themselves good shots. Just can't get it to go. Made it Gritz for the charity stripe shot number one. It's on the way. It is good. Boy, the Juab defense has done a, a number tonight, or this afternoon, excuse me, on Veda Gritz, one of the Red Devils' leading scorers, if not the leading scorer. Second free throw bounces in good for Veda. Yeah, they just haven't let her get inside, you know, and it just don't seem like Gritz has worked hard enough to get inside because she should be able to get all the positions she wants down there. Robbins pass to the high right post, jump shot on the way, and that's a round and out, no good, excuse me. That one was taken by... Is that Love, love again? again? Yeah, Love had one earlier. She missed that one. 102 left in the third. 35 15. Juab with the lead. A minute left here in the third quarter. Gritz out top. Left wing three on the way. The lefty three is no good by Josie Camps. Loose ball underneath. Diving for it. Two players. One of them is Hannah Owen for Grand. And the jump ball is called. The arrow goes in Juab's favor. Getting down and dirty right there was Love. Yeah, love and Hannah Owen for uh, Grand right there. Hitting the floor, trying to come up with it. Robbins will dribble it up, fires it forecourt right wing. Angle right drive, going to the rack, shot up, hits the underneath of the basket, but they're going to call a foul on the Grand Red Devils. And making a trip to the free throw line now is Amelia Anderson. Yeah, that was just kind of some bad luck for Grand right there as they just didn't 
realized that she got underneath the basket and stopped and uh, the momentum uh, carried her into her. Free throw number one is good for Amelia. Amelia's first point of the basketball game. 41 seconds remain in the third quarter. Second one to the good. Two for two at the line for Amelia Anderson. 37-15, Juab with the lead. Working at Fort Court. Red Devils grits. Right wing pass Owen. Owen goes baseline. Passes out left high post. Annabelle Garrett with a shot off the glass for two. Annabella Garrett with seven. 37-17, grand trailing. Wasps break the press and barely do. Into the forecourt, they lose the ball out of bounds. It's going to be Grand Red Devil basketball. Yeah, Grand come out and started to do a little bit of trapping right there, tried to force something to happen, and they did force a turnover. In play by Josie Camps. Camps gets it off to her teammate who dribbles forecourt, pass off to Gritz. Gritz makes a move, pass down low to the block, shot blocked by the Wasps love. Rebound put back is no good. Gritz has it down low, and she's fouled. She'll be at the charity stripe for a pair of shots with .3 seconds left in the third period. Well, Grant has a little bit of size advantage now, you know, with uh, with Robbins out, and so they're going in smartly and going inside right there. They're doing a great job on the offensive rebounds and, and getting themselves to the line. Free throw for Veda Gritz. On the way. No good. That was the front end of a one and one. That'll end the third quarter of play with the Juab Wasps erupting for another 14 points. Grand Red Devils uh, score seven in this third quarter, but they still trail 37 to 17, a 20 point lead for the Juab Wasps. We'll take a break on ETV 10, Centricom Channel 10, and the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network. Fourth quarter action coming up next. The Crump Reese family of dealerships in Moab offers both Ford and General Motors vehicles. With two locations on South Main Street in Moab, looking for a new or used Ford or Chevy has never been easier. Whether you're hitting the trails in Moab or just dropping off the kids at school, Crump Reese has the vehicle you need to get you from point A to point B with a little adventure in between. I'm Dr. Gordon Duvall, pediatrician at Central Valley Medical Center. I have always enjoyed working with children. Sometimes things can be scary, like if they're in an ambulance. So if I can help the child and talk to them in a way that helps them understand what's going on and why, that's a success right there. I feel like the best thing I can do is to give parents the education and resources that they need to give their child the best care. We're accepting new patients at Central Valley Medical Center, and we'll be excited to take care of your child. Welcome back once again to fourth quarter action. The Juab Lady Wasps trying to sail right into the final eight in the state tournament of Class 3A. Now there's a pass for the Grand Red Devils. That is tipped by Heap. Stolen away, another steal for Heap. Wow, Bailey's had a great defensive game. Here comes Juab the other way, 37-17 they lead. Pass to the right corner, jump shot on the way. A long jumper hits the iron, no good for Robbins. Rebound taken by Annabelle Garrett, and Grand Red Devils will have another shot here. Well, the, the thing they have done really well is rebounding. They've like, locked out nicely and done a great job of rebounding and keeping Juab off the offensive board. They were outscored 14-7 in that third quarter. There's another turnover by Grant. Well, Annabelle Garrett was just looking to pass the ball, and her teammate wasn't watching, and uh, she tried to hold it up, but in doing it, it made her drag her pivot foot. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter, a 20-point lead for Juab. Can the Red Devils muster the miracle to come back? We'll find out in the final seven minutes. There's a pass to the left corner. Back in the game is Hannah Robbins playing with four fouls. Right wing pass to her teammate out top. They swing it left angle to Megan Robbins. To Hannah for three. Off the rim, no good. Veda Gritz with the rebound. And she gets bumped from behind. Lost the ball out of bounds. They're just going to call that out of bounds off Juab instead of calling the foul on Juab. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they brought Hannah Robbins back in. 20 points with the fourth quarter. At I kind of think you'd let her stay and not chance a rolled ankle or something. Maybe Jaquel Oliver needed a break. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pass to Owen from Gritz, and that's knocked out of bounds by the Grand Red Devils. Boy, Grand Coach has some great plays drawn up 
for his team to get close to the basket, get good shots, but either it's it's mishandled or the shot just doesn't go in close range. They got some great plays. Yeah, the offense that he's got in is, is great, like you say right there. The girls just aren't quite being able to execute it. Now driving in, back out, Veda Gritz, left wing around the horn to the left wing. Hannah Owen drives in, shoots it up, and that is no good for Hannah Owen. You know, just like right there, ran beautifully, pulled Joab away from it, and they just can't hit that easy layup. Now back out top, Bailey Heap for the Wasps. Juab leads 37-17, 6.20 left in the game. Robbins left wing, Megan lobs it down to her sister Hannah. Hannah on the low block, triple team, throws it back out to Bailey Heap, and they reset. Pass to the right wing for the Juab Lady Wasp. They work it back to Heap right corner, just on the three-point line. One bounce dribble, top of the key, Robbins. Megan picks up the dribble, drives to the high right post, back out right wing, and Heap throws it down low, tipped away by the grand defense, almost taken away, but it comes out to the three-point line right wing, picked up by Owens. Check that. Yeah, Owens does grab it down low after it was passed down low by the Juab Wasps. Heap. Now back the other way comes... Annabelle Garrett dribbles right wing just inside the arc, gets the ball stolen away by who else but Bailey Heap. Heap the other way, she's gonna take it all the way. Drive, shoots, and scores. Bailey's had a great game offensively, mostly defensively, but she's just doing everything right. Bailey Heap with 12, it's 39-17. Juhab with the lead, Hannah Owen right wing. Passes to Gritz, back inside to Owen. Owen double team tied up, jump ball called. Arrow in favor of Juab. Great defensive play that time by the Lady Wasps, and I think that was number one, Brindley Bender. Yeah, <laughs> oh, uh, Gara, or, uh, Bailey Heap just kind of made her roll into her, and then Bender does a great job of getting her hand on the ball without committing the foul. Hannah Robbins, or excuse me, Megan Robbins gets through the double team trap and then passes down on the block, and that one's gonna go up for a shot, but that's no good, and a foul called as Amelia Anderson will find herself to the free throw line yet again with 5.07 left. And Amelia come in the third quarter and went uh, two for two from the line. She has a good looking foul shot, great follow through and great rotation on the ball. Free throw up, bounces away, no good. I did it. Juab, the number one seed out of Region 14 after they had a three-way tie with Union and also Carbon, all 10 and two taking on the fifth seed out of the Region 15. The Grand Re Lady Red Devils, second free throw, no good. Rebound, Red Devils, 39-17. And Juhab's done what a number one seed should do. They've taken care of business here, especially defensively. Garrett passed to the right corner to Owen. That's tipped out of bounds by the Wasps' Brindley Bender. Yeah, you know, Juhab, you know, hasn't looked really that fluid you know, and stuff, but they're still doing what it takes to win. And that's like you say, that's what the number one teams do is if they're not playing their best, they find a way to, you know, to still come up with the win. Pass to the free throw line for Grand. There's a jump shot from 13 by Veda Gritz. No good on the rebound. It's taken by Bailey Heap. Heap dribbles forecourt on the far side with the arm wrap on her right elbow. Passes to Robbins. Four and a half left in this state. First round game here from Heber City, Utah at Wasatch High School. There's a pass right wing, Megan Robbins. Lobs it into Hannah. Hannah in the lane. This SUU commit shoots, rims it off, no good. And taken by Grant. Now Grant's done a great job on Hannah Robbins. You know, Hannah's had some help there to get it up, but you cannot fault their game plan on Hannah Robbins. You cannot. Of course, that's the uh, family school, Southern Utah University. <laughs> Pass down low for the Red Devils. Garrett with it. Underneath the basket, shoots it up and scores it. Annabelle Garrett with a bucket. And Rick Robbins, her dad, played at SUU as a quarterback. Nick Robbins signed there as a quarterback out of Juab High School and now has transferred to Snow College after a coaching change at SUU. He's pegged to be the starter next season. Played some time this year and had some good games, especially when the starter got hurt. And, of course, Hannah Robbins committing to play at Southern Utah University. I don't know about mom. She played college ball. I know she played college ball, so there's a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. <laughs> yes. I wanna know now where he's, she played. He's in the stand somewhere. No, I, ta I actually talked to Rick before the game. He, he's a Yankees fan like me, so we always have something to talk about. And there's Vita Gritz in the lane. Shakes a shot, rims off no good for the Red Devils. Rebound Bailey Heap of the Juab Lady Wasps. Yeah, Kurt's my color man here, and he's got the Yankees sweatshirt on with a Cowboys hat. That's kind of 
an oxymoron in a, in a sense. I don't know what that's all about. I just like the teams that everybody hates. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's a pass right wing. He passed down low to Robbins. Hannah spins, shoots, and scores in the lane. That was a nice move by Hannah right there. As she spun left. And she actually made that little hook shot with, the, with her left hand. 11 points for Robbins. Juab 41, Grand 19 with 2.55 left in the fourth quarter. Coming up, our Sunrise Engineering post-game show. Sunrise Engineering serving clients in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Arizona for over 30 years. There's a three ball left wing. Red Devils miss it. Rebound, Juab foul on the Red Devils. Annabelle Garrett picks that one up. Yeah, she's just trying to get a steal. You know, got to do anything they can to get some points and just kind of rate uh, Juab across the face as she is looking for the ball. Two minutes, 44 seconds remain. In this basketball game, that is the second personal on Garrett. Fourth team foul for Grand. Juab has 17 fouls. Robbins dribbles to the high post. 15-foot jumper off the iron to the left. Picked up by Hannah Owen. Owen, pass to Garrett. Garrett gets the ball stolen away by, oh, almost stolen away again by Bailey Heap. But a whistle and a foul and trying to get it back. Annabelle Garrett picks up another foul. Yeah, you can't say enough about Bailey Heap right now. You know that for this game, she's... She's definitely been the brightest spot on the court for either team. Definitely the player of the game, in my opinion. Yeah. Wasp work it in. There's a great grand defensive play there as they tip it away and steal it. With the steal is Josie Camps. Camps the other way, far side of the court. Crosses into the forecourt, going from left to right. Pass out left wing, three ball on the way. Yes, it's drained on that left angle. Into the ball game for a three for the first time is Jessica Larson. She put it right over the outstretched arms of... Uh, Hannah Robbins, too. Robbins on the right wing. Hannah fires it to the left wing. Now Bailey Heap, left corner, down low to the block. Shot, turn around, jumper, rattles down. Good for Love. Four points for Kaylee Love. A minute 40 left in the contest, 43-22. Juab leading. Pass to Gritz in the lane. Gritz drives, gets the ball stripped. Another steal credited to Bailey Heap. Heap will give it off to Robbins and a timeout called by the Juab coaching staff. They'll probably clear the bench and bring in subs here with a minute 28 left. We'll take a break here on ETV Channel 10 as well as Centricom Channel 10 and the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network. The Juab County Commission employees and staff are pleased to support the youth of the area in academics and athletics at Juab High School this sports season. And remember Juab County for fantastic recreational opportunities such as the Sand Dunes, Yuba Reservoir and Zipline, Extreme Racing, Demolition Derby, and the Huge Stampede Rodeo. The county government fully supports education and athletics in molding the future leaders of our area. Juab County, happy to be a Juab Wasps Sports Booster. We're back once again on Centricom Channel 10, the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network, and ETV Channel 10. Mike Training, Kurt Allred, Nate Palmer, our producer, our cameraman, of course, doing a fantastic job with the scenes of this game is Micah Iverson. Left wing pass. Another Emmy performance by our cameraman today. Left wing pass. There's a lot down low and out of bounds for the Wasps. Feeding that one just a little too big was McKaysley Cowan. No, speechless, aren't you? You have nothing to say, I'm you, mostly Kurt. just wondering why Mike don't wear a sleeve like his cousin Allen did to cover stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> now out top. Grand Red Devils driving in. Floater up off the glass. No good by Josie Camps. Rebound loose. Knocked out of bounds by the Wasps. Red Devils basketball with 57.6 seconds left. Like both teams are just basically trying to get time to run out. <laughs> Running off the bench getting into the game like a wild woman. <laughs> Boy, she ran to the bench. Who is the number five for the Wasps? Valerie Clark. She was excited to get she's in the excited. state game. excited. Valerie's a freshman, and she's getting some state playing experience. So yeah, you'd like to see that enthusiasm. Now pass to the right wing. Camps with the basketball. And there's a three ball on the way over the top. No good as it bounces out. Rebound, Red Devils. Josie Camps for another three. That hits the glass, and a rebound for Valerie Clark. Now she's on the stats, too. Now dribbling down the right wing, driving in. The Wasp bounce pass down to the low block. Jump shot on the way. That bounces off. No good. Rebound put back is up, and that one's no good. Get me on the stats as she's trying, and she'll get to the free throw line as the shot doesn't go. 
course, she's been on the stat sheet. I think Amelia Anderson's already there, but boy, some of the younger players in here for Juab wanting to get on that stat line. Oh yeah, it don't it don't matter when it comes to state playoff game. They like to get in on the court, even if it's only for a, a minute or so. It's just bragging rights back at the school. Yeah, I had a rebound in the state exactly, win. Exactly, and I'm a freshman. Have you done that? <laughs> 31 seconds left. There's the free throw that rattles out. Again, we appreciate all of our sponsors for our broadcast. Ease of Mind, always great supporters of Juab Athletics. Nephi Federal Credit Union, Centricom, Channel 10, and High Speed Internet, Garrett Honda, Central Valley Medical Center, and Drew Bay Used Cars. Here's the free throw. First one missed, second one good by Amelia Anderson. She has three points now on the afternoon. Uh, again, a special thanks to Harmon Tire, Jones and DeMille Engineering, Juab County, Intermountain Power Service Corporation, Nephi City, and Cash Valley Bank. Three ball left wing, no good. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Juab basketball. And yeah, just come up a little short. 21.8 seconds remain in the basketball game. Juab 44, Grand 22. The Juab Wasps will move on to play the Judge Memorial Bulldogs, 730 at Dixie State University next week. Three ball right wing, air ball out of bounds on the right wing. And that'll be grand at Red Devil basketball. Still love the playoff format where they bring all the teams together in one spot. You know, and it's just exciting for these kids. You know, even for grand, they come up here. They got out of school for the day. They got to come up and hang out and play basketball. Three ball left wing, off the rim, no good. One second left, rebound taken by the Lady Wasps, Jaquel Oliver, and that'll do it. The Juab Wasps defeat the Grand Red Devils 44-22 as the Wasps close the game off with a 7-5 run to win the basketball game over the Red Devils. Red Devils done for the season, great season for them. They're young, they'll be coming back next year. And of course, the Juab Wasps with the experience moving on as the number one seed. We'll take a break. It's our Sunrise Engineering post-game show coming up next. We'll be back right after.